Evdog1 with the 500 bit cheer. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Alright, that's an escort of the villagers. Level 52. What's this one? Okay, that's recruitment battle. I do have to get to Owain anyway. Now I rescue. Villager rescue. Okay, I can deal with villager rescue. Shadow Rush. Sign of Legend. I don't know what that one is. That could be anything. Hi. Control yourself. Power too great. C can't contain it. Uh, sorry to interrupt your conversation, but I have a question about your stance. It's clearly from the royal house of Elise. By the gods, old and new, another future traveler. Who are you, villain? Speak. Um, I'm Krom. Of Elise? If we must fight, then... Uncle Krom? Uncle? N never mind that for now. Can you fight? Or do you just talk a lot? My medal in combat is the stuff of legend. Bards sing tales of my... Hey, wait! Uncle Krom! What a weirdo. And every time he talks, it doesn't get less weird. He just somehow gets even weirder than that. And that's saying something. Alright, we have a little bit more freedom as to who we can bring out. Thank God for that, too. Because I was getting worried. Uh, I think I'll take Takami for this one. Takami and Alyssa? Yeah, we'll go with Takami and Alyssa. What? All right, all right. Inoka can stay. Right here. And I'll put you with. Put you with the bar, I guess. That'll work. It will. What's my task? I'll see the. Yes. What next? There we go. What? Instead of Krom. I'm thinking, who would be good for this? Who would be good? Elise? Yeah, we'll go with Elise. Be safe, okay? And yes, Tiki. Good luck. All right, Common Rider hosting with the one viewer, of course, which is himself, I guess. <laughs> And also entered into the Yakuza Kiwami giveaway. May the odds ever be in your favor, everybody. This is looking to be very competitive. So far, we've had at least four entries into that giveaway. From three people. <laughs> Which is rad. <laughs> by nature, but... Oh, what's to be pessimistic about? I think we'll be okay. I just pray that all the Pokemon are in the Mystery Dungeon game. I would imagine they probably won't add too much in it. I wouldn't be surprised if it's gonna be mostly the ones from the first, like, the original GBA game. Maybe with a few extras. Like, for Mystery Dungeon, like, can you really just have every single Pokemon in it? I don't think you could. Even when it was up to the 3DS. There were, like, some Pokemon omitted. Like, it just wouldn't seem practical to have that many. But it is what it is. Hey there, are we hate win. Welcome to the show. I can maybe see some of the future legendaries. 
Are you talking about like the new Reggies? Or the ones that be coming out for the DLC? Cause that would be pretty good too. Oh man, we're just ripping and tearing through everyone. Honestly, I haven't really given the uh, Mystery Dungeon games a chance. Even though I had the one for the 3DS, I couldn't really get through all of it. After a while, I just kind of got bored. And that's a shame because it seemed pretty good. But like most games, I never really had time to get through all of them. All I know is that if I actually did play Mystery Dungeon again, I'll not be one of those people that try to like retake the quiz or the questionnaire until I get the Pokemon I want. Like if I end up as a Delibird, that's how it's gonna be. And I'll suck it up. I know you probably can't be a Delibird, but if you can, so be it. I'll resign myself to my fate. So many Pokemon might see a game of Legendaries as starter Pokemon only. A game of starter Pokemon only and Pikachu is just pretty much non-Pokemon players play Pokemon. Because how many of them like hear about Pokemon but all they know is Pikachu? And maybe Bulbasaur. And maybe Squirtle. For this. Just a few more, and then we'll win. You want to see something super scary? I can do it. We're going to take you down. Good night. You're done. Okay, oh, right, yeah, you can get out of here. Mission complete. Mission complete. Enemy reinforcements. Even a bit, a legendary is a starter, you pick Celebi. Celebi's pretty cool. Apparently, there is like, in the upcoming the DLC, there's actually gonna be another grass psychic legendary, which is bigger than Celebi. But I think it's almost like a goat or a ram with fluff on its head. Last time I dealt with a Fafnir, it was probably Final Fantasy XII. And that was a god-awful hunt. I think, like, the only hunt or the only mark that I didn't actually complete in Final Fantasy XII was the Esmat. <laughs> like, I was able to beat the Fafnir in FF12 back in the day. However, like, when you get really late in the fight, 
Oh, guess what? Some of the attacks are instant kill no matter what. Mission and it attacks complete. at the same rate as a regular Mission attack. Are we at 2,000? Yeah, we're at 2,000. Good stuff. Alright, so Kiki just redeemed, like, into another Don't entry finish. for Yakuza Kiwami. So that's three possible opportunities for her out of five. You wanna see something super scary? I can do it. She going hard on this. So if you played any other Dynasty Warriors game, what was your favorite? I did like 4 a lot, but 8 was probably like the full experience for me. Like you had a story mode, you had flexible paths you can take, which kind of reminded me of Samurai Warriors. And it did have like a decent, you know, extra mode. And Dynasty Warriors 9, it kind of just fell flat. Really number one? Oh, like it really let the series down. Must have been so well rested. I always wake up during the night. It actually wasn't that great. I was trapped in a nightmare. I was all by myself. It was lonely. A thousand year nightmare? That does sound rough. If I was around, I would have curled up beside you to keep you company. Hey, let's bunk together from now on. So if you have a nightmare, I'll be right there. I think I would enjoy that a bit. But what? Someday, we'd have to say goodbye. Becoming friends will make going back to separate worlds that much harder. Just the thought of not being able to see you anymore is bad enough. We'll see each other again, Tiki. I know because something similar happened to me before. I used to sneak out of the castle and meet up with my friend Effie. I got in big trouble when the royal guards found out. I couldn't go into town anymore, and Effie couldn't come to the castle. We had to stop seeing each other just as the two of us had become friends. Being forced apart like that must have been hard. It was super tough. But just as I was hoping to see her the most, she returned. Effie had become a royal guard so she could see me. She said it took a crazy amount of training. She had to run up rivers against the stream and lift rocks under waterfalls. That's amazing. She must have really missed you. If we get separated, I'll do whatever I can to bring us back together. I'll see you again, even if I must cleave through mountains and jump through fire. <laughs> and I'll do everything I can to see you again, too. No matter how long it takes, and no matter what gets in my way. I'll wait for you as long as I can, even if it's another 1,000 years. But if we can't see each other again, we'll still be friends. Whenever we get lonely, we can just think of each other and be together. I'll think of you all the time, Elise. So don't be afraid of separating, because you'll be okay no matter what. You got it. But for now, we can still bunk together, right? Of course. If you have a nightmare, I'll curl up beside you. Thank you, Elise. I'm gonna sleep great tonight. I just know it. <laughs> Talk about pure wholesomeness. I have but one request. If you find the sword Mistletane, please, let me wield it. I would use its might to defend my sacred queen and mother. You mean Lissa? <sighs> I suppose I should just be happy she has such a devoted son. Even if he is a basket case. Uh, for the Mystery Dungeon games, the one for the 3DS, I think my main Pokemon was Oshawott, and my partner ended up being Pikachu. I suppose we can go for this level 113 target elimination? No, I, don't, I think we should hold off on that. That level is pretty damn steep. Oh my god, this music is so gaudy for this map! It's like something out of Mickey Mouse. What the fuck? <laughs> Level 66 Pincer Escape seems a bit more palatable right now.
Could you imagine if they play this music during the fight, too? <laughs> okay, so I can only bring six characters. I can be down with six characters. Who would I bring? You know what? Yes. Anoka and Navarre can stick together. It will be done. What's my task? I'll see that it's done. What? Lissa and Takami can stay together. Was it? Yeah, Takami and Lissa. All right, all right. What is it? I hear you. I'm up. And I'm thinking instead of Elise, why don't we go with who would I want to bring out? Cordelia? I can go with Cordelia. Give me your best. But who can Cordelia go with? I'm guessing a Boro. Yeah, we'll use a Boro. Come back in one piece. What's up? There's gonna be quite a few characters that will end up being neglected for the rest of the game simply because they can't get any more uh, support conversations. And therefore, I'm pretty much done with them. Like, I can still get supports at A to get, you know, more abilities to get skills with them. But other than that, probably not too worried. If I'm gonna be using Mickey Mouse voice, no. At least not for this game. Not at all. That'd be quite a leap just because I mentioned Mickey Mouse once. I'm prepared for anything. Well, that is a good idea to use Psyduck so we can have Water Gun. It'd be nice to have something like that pretty early. Like, I remember my Pokemon Emerald Let's Play, where I, like, uh, forced myself to have certain Pokemon at the start. And for some reason, Carvana and Sharpedo cannot learn water moves in Gen 3, unless you teach them via TM or HM. And it's so stupid that it's like that. Like, it made no sense at all. It is what it is. Start the mission. At least with my Pokemon Black Let's Play, I won't really be doing that. And I'll just be catching my own team. I still don't have, like, a decided date for when it's going to start, though. So I don't want to, like, start it still too close for when I finish Pokemon Diamond. Mission complete. Don't worry. I'll cast double the to your So there you go. At least I'll have something to look forward to in the future. You'd like something more painful than that. The gate opened. Enemy reinforcement. Good night, bitch. Start the mission. Okay, looks like we're pretty much just getting straight to the fight right away. Okay, probably like a to press together. Doesn't really help things at all. Also, did we take out both thieves? Yes, it looks like we did. Okay. Unless the thieves are in the other army. Right. 
Okay, Iron Edge just redeemed like some more points here. Least favorite things about the first generation of Pokemon. You gotta be more specific. Are you talking about like the Gen 1 Pokemon in general? Because if so, I'm probably my least favorite of them. Oh god. There wasn't enough love for ghost types. And psychic types were too broken because they didn't have darks to counter them. Ghost was effective against psychic back then, but every ghost type was also part poison. And the only offensive ghost move that existed was like Lick and Nightshade. Which was terrible! I can understand dragons not getting many types because dragons are powerful. But if you're talking about like the Gen 1 games, the inventory system was atrocious because you can only carry like so many certain items before you run out of space. The other thing I also hated was that certain moves were glitched. Focus Energy was designed to give you extra. Where's the villager to? The villager's to the right. Can't win this. There was. Uh, what was I gonna say? Focus energy was supposed to give you double the amount of critical hit chance, but in Gen 1, there was a glitch that actually reduced your critical hit chance. Can't win this. Yes, I know bugs also existed. The problem is, there weren't many good bug type moves. Where to next? It's like, yeah, there was like. Twin Needle and Pin Missile, but they were very limited around bug types. Can't win this. And some of the bug types were also part poison. Mission complete. Thank you so much. Um, you can take this. So it was a little flawed. Psychic types were still too busted. And most good psychic types were able to outmuscle bugs anyway. So the type coverage didn't even mean anything. Yeah, high speed equals high crit crit chance. Yeah, that is true. But that's still very weird, because that means electric types were probably at a high advantage to, like, get crit chances. If you had certain electric types that had slash, oh man, you're going to be tearing through, like, weak defense teams. But well, yeah, at least Gen 2 improved on the mechanics a lot. And all that's left is the Red Army. No, not that Red Army, historians. Don't get that idea. Anyway, I think we'll take out Tharja now. Not without taking an extra base. Always a privilege fighting by your side. Just wanted to get that extra kill. Just because. I'll defend this Alright, let's end this. No! Still alive! But for how long? I'm 
until now. Done. Alright, we're pretty much still on that curve, and battles are going to be harder, even at level plus 100. An amp sword. Fantastic. Let's keep fighting. I want to get to know you much better. I'll be rocking. Feels nice to bond. You drew laundry duty, huh, Cordelia? Need some help? You've still got the weapon inspection, after all. Thanks, Aboro. I don't want to take your time, but could you grab those baskets? Got it. Just leave it to. Oh, whoa, that's a lot of laundry. Yeah, everyone's been training extra hard, so no one's really taking the time. Those two are still going at it over there. You can see them all the way from here. Is that Prince Krom and Frederick? Do they spar one on one often? Frederick likes to keep an eye on Krom so he can scold him for breaking things. He's been especially destructive lately. It's driving Frederick crazy. Speaking to you always reminds me that Elysians have such strong personalities. Aside from Krom, there's that brilliant tactician, right? Yes. Robin's tactical senses are not to be trifled with. And then there's that weirdo swordsman who speaks like a total goofball? <laughs> That's Owain. He can be a bit... overdramatic at times. But isn't there a Norian who talks like he's in some weird stage play, too? And that guy whose collar is always inside out. What's that about? Well, that's the Norians for you. A bunch of no-account, no-nothings. Uh, are you okay, Obora? Something strange is happening with your face! Uh, sorry. My face sort of does that on its own when I talk about Norians. Oh, my. Well, in that case, let's talk about someone who's not Norian. Like, Lord Ryoma. He seems awfully strong. And then there's Lord Takami. Yes, Lord Takami. He treats his retainers with such kindness. He recently traveled to the south and bought souvenirs for Hinata and me. Oh, um, there, there. Please don't cry. It, uh, makes me uncomfortable. Sorry, Cordelia. It's just remembering that. I couldn't help it. <laughs> you really care for him, huh? You're totally overcome at just the thought. Well, you're one to talk, aren't you? I've seen how you cling to Prince Krom's side during battle. Sure, but our relationship isn't as clear-cut as Liege and Retainer. I respect Krom, and I vowed to fight for him. Krom is a strong and kind leader, and an amazing soldier. True, though he doesn't act very royal all that often. But I guess that's why he's so easy to approach. He isn't trying, he's just him. Exactly! I'm glad you understand what makes Krom such a good leader. But I guess the differences between him and Takami are clear. Lord Takami's so gallant, and he really seems to care for his retainers. You got that right. There's no finer person in the world than Lord Takami. I guess we're more alike than I thought, to each fight for someone we care for. Sounds like we're kindred spirits to me. Kindred spirits? You really think so? That's quite the honor. Alright, I just had to get back from the bathroom again. So I missed some of that conversation, but you know what, it's fine. I can always look at it any again later. Uh, do I really want to do another mission? I guess I can try Villager Rescue. Level 80. And I did need to reunite with Sita anyway. Otherwise, I can't even go over here. So I guess it's necessary to do this one anyway. Let's do that. You're a kind soul to fight for strangers as you do. Here, please take this. By the ghost of Ike, I found it at last. The fated mate to my sword hand, the Divine Blade Mistletane. I'm afraid this is a blade of extremely common make. Um, hello? Sorry, he's he's clocked right out in his head. Oh man. <laughs> this is this is pretty much just Owain's map. That's why he's highly featured in this. Like the next one after that is Tharja's, and after that is Olivia's. If that makes any sense. And I'm sure it does. 
Yes. Alright, I'll keep these two pairs. I think after time? this map, I'll go to the uh, distortion missions. Because I still need to do those anyway. What's up? You want me? Right here. The choice is yours. What is it? Oh yeah, I still well, haven't got those two something. done yet. What is it? I hear all right, you. so I haven't really what? changed up my groups that much, but that's okay. All right, all right. Will this suffice? I've been it just means I get to start the maps faster. Oh, there you are. Oh, good. <laughs> Look, we're right next to Camilla. This will be an easy battle. So, of course, this is more uh, head on turn maps. Therefore, the best thing to do to get enough KOs don't take out the head hunters yet. That strategy has not changed. Because if you clear him too fast, you won't have enough troops to fight. So it's weird you have to approach these in such a different way. Compared to, like, any other map. Which sucks, but it is what it is. What are you talking about in Gen 1 when it comes to electric types? Yeah, some of them only get it like Thundershock or maybe Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom is okay. Like very early. But after that, it's just useless. Or Swift. God forbid Swift. Spark was not in Gen 1. I don't even remember if it was in Gen 2. They might have waited till Gen 3 to have it. Could be wrong, though. Maybe Spark was in Gen 2. Let me show you what I can do. Yeah, I seriously don't remember. Cause I know it was not Gen One. All right, if the villager falls, the villager falls. How about we don't? Things are fine. Oh yeah, good old Electrode. It's gotten a lot of love in, say, Pokemon Stadium, where you normally open against a Mewtwo with Electrode. Just so you can Thunder Wave it. And then hope for the best the rest of the way. Start the mission. Enemy reinforcements. Another Falcon Eye came out of hiding. Nice. Oh, I ended up recruiting these guys. I didn't even try. That works for me. Oh, how can I ever thank you? Oh, did I end up rescuing them by accident? What the hell? I have a report. Wait, who the hell was Cordelia trying to recruit? Oh, uh, was it Sakura? <laughs> What the hell 
happened? The choice is yours. Oh, Sakura's over there. What? You did it. How did that happen? You did it. That makes no sense. I thought I had them together. I have a report. Okay, I guess I have to do a little extra busy work. Choice is yours. Hold on, who is uh, my ally commander? My ally commander is over there. No, it's over at the base. So I definitely need to take out that archer. Okay, that was a bit weird. Oh, how can I ever oh yeah, that's my you. port captain over there. That's the flying unit. I have the choice then is where yours. the hell is Cena? Over there! So I don't think any archers are going to be near her. So that won't be too bad then. This is a weird battle. I don't know why, but somehow it is. Let's hurry. Quickly defeat Anna. Okay, well, I suppose she's up here. Oh, there she is. Better electric types now, that is true. I definitely got a lot of use out of uh, Luxray in my Diamond Let's Play. And in Sword, I did like um, Toxapex. I had like the purple one. So there you go. I don't think it was my MVP, though. I forget who it was. It might have been Cinderace. Well, all I know is I didn't have any difficulty against Leo at all. And I still need to finish the postgame. What the? There's an archer there, isn't it? What? All right, all right. Leave it to me. All right, I'll get over there now before it's too late. Ready? And I think I just barely made it too. Good lord! Oh, I don't have any units that can heal. Well, that sucks. So I have to pretty much make sure no archers get near. You can shop now. Let's get to it. So I almost I shit the bed again. going on like seriously the base is safe I hope they got um who's over there 
Who's our enemy commander? The choice is yours. Hinoka, okay. Hinoka is not bad. There's a recruit over there that is an archer, though. Come back soon. We're in trouble. Let's go. I mean, if Celica falls, it's not a fail, right? She's not the commander, so she can't be a fail. So it should be okay. Mission. Still don't have 2,000 KOs, really? How much more do I need? What more do you want from me? Seriously. No, we just saved the base. It's not in danger anymore. Okay, well, I have enough troops over here on this side. Hope so. 1932. We're getting there. Okay, look. There's a lot of troops in this base. This should be enough. Twenty twenty, okay, perfect. We can win now. Let's clean up, shall we? Mission complete. We seized it. That was way more stressful than it needed to be. And that really saddens me. There we go. And we're at the 10 minute mark. You are the last one I must defeat before this battle will end. Uh, she still won't give up. She's blocking almost every attack. She, she won't give up. Finally. Good riddance. That fight really dragged on. An impressive Holy shoot. Okay, we finally got the Mistletane. That's for Owain right there. Now we in business. Navarre, what happened back there? I'm not sure what you're talking about. I saw you let that enemy soldier go. Why would you do that? Mm. Don't you have anything to say for yourself? It was a woman. Raising my blade against her would break my code of honor. How is it honorable to let the enemy get away? She could come back and kill us all. Everyone here is capable of protecting themselves, Hinoka. Yes, but it's also our responsibility to protect each other. That's part of the code I live by. You put us all in danger when you let that soldier go. I'm not here to safeguard anyone. I'm here to fight. But only the men, right? Never mind. At least now I know where you stand. It's a shame. You're such a skilled warrior. If I had your talents, I could do so much more. I would be happy to teach you the art of killing if you like. Whoa there. You mean teach me how to wield a sword, right? To be honest, I've always wanted to learn. So that's a yes then? Yes. But what about your code? I thought raising a sword against me was against the rules. I'm willing to make an exception for the purposes of training. But I warn you. 
My skills will be of no help to you in protecting your friends. Maybe you're just not using them right. Did you ever think of that? I bet I can prove that a mercenary's techniques aren't only good for killing. And hey, maybe you'll come out of this lesson learning something from me. That seems unlikely. Well then, challenge accepted. I never turn down the chance to help a friend. And what you're about to show me might help you on the battlefield. So let's get started. Ready when you are. But I hope you're prepared to give this your all. I require a worthy adversary. Let's just say I bore easily. Then you've got nothing to worry about. I'm a quick learner. My soul grows dull. I'm going to your kind to be spending time Lady Sakura. Are these the herbs you were looking for? They are. I couldn't find any when I went looking earlier. I hope you didn't go to too much trouble. Not at all. I just happened upon them. And I'm always happy to do you a favor, Lady Sakura. How sweet of you to say. You remind me a lot of my retainer, Tsubaki. Really? How so? Well, you do kind of look similar. But it's more than that. It's more like... Your auras, that's it. You're both so positive. And everyone always talks about what a perfectionist he is. Just like you. I... I don't know if I'd use the word perfectionist to describe myself. Then there's the fact he's such a hard worker. I don't think I've ever seen him sit idle. It's a little worrying sometimes, the way he pushes himself. It sounds like he holds himself to very high standards. I suppose I can sympathize with that impulse. See? You're not so different. Oh, but that means I have to worry about you too, doesn't it? Not that it's not a good thing to want to be perfect all the time. It's just... It's just... If you push yourself too far, you could hurt yourself. And the last thing I want is for you to get hurt, Cordelia. You and Tsubaki both mean so much to me. Lady Sakura, don't get yourself so worked up. I know my own limits. Come to think of it, I had a similar conversation not too long ago. Someone told me that I could learn to ask others for help a bit more often. Of course, being me, I immediately set out to get better at asking for help. But now, thinking back on it, I'm starting to wonder if I kind of missed the point. Maybe a little. I'm sure your friend didn't want you to feel like you had to try even harder. The reason I, and, and perhaps your friend, want you to reach out to others is not because you need to be perfect. You're perfect the way you are. Oh, Lady Sakura, thank you. You've cleared a few things up for me. Good thing I found those herbs, huh? Hey, next time you see Tsubaki, you should say the same thing to him. Good idea. I do want him to know how important he is to me. Since he can't be here, I hope you'll consider me a suitable replacement. I have no doubt that you are. But don't overwork yourself, okay? Not on my account. Yes, Lady Sakura. I promise to ask for help if I need it. Happy? Yes, I'll look forward to it. Give me some of that herbs. I need to tote. <laughs> My sword grows dull. I feel its power coursing through me. At last, my sword hand is calm. Come, mistletoe. Destiny beckons. Hey there, butt bound. New feet getting butt bombs. What the hell are you talking about? What is your obsession with butts? I don't get it. <laughs> but anyway, welcome to the show. Uh, do I want to do another map? You know what? I'm probably going to hold off on this map for now. And we'll do one more battle just to get ourselves a weapon. Or at least get an opus for it. So I think we'll try out this level 102 for defense. And then we'll do the draw for uh, Yakuza Kiwami. I'll forget I saw you if you leave now, Sakura. What? No! Or butt barrel if you prefer. Alright, you're gonna have to stop with this talk about butts. It's starting to get a little unnerving. I'm just gonna say that much. And it's getting a bit distracting in the chat. I'm putting my foot down on it. 
What's my task? What? Right, I'm gonna keep these two together oh, one more time. I hear you. Hold on a sec. Alright, so if it was going to be like that, I'm just going to have to go ahead and uh, issue the ban. I kind of had to. It, I don't like having to do that, but it had to be done. It, it was like getting a little bit uncomfortable in the chat, so I feel like something had to be addressed. And now that's sorted with. So let's not worry about it. We're just going to do the last battle. And then we can uh, do the draw. Right here. I think we'll put Darja oh, in this. Joy. What now? I what's my task? I'll see that it's what now. Choose. As you can tell, I'm not one that really likes to ban people. Will this suffice? But then again, it's been rare that I've even had to. But you know, it is what it is. Like, anytime you, like, do a stream, you have to run into the chance that this could happen. Or something like it could happen. Let's give it our best. I rarely have to, because at least my community is very red. Start the mission. I've got an idea. Oh, right, this is the one that actually has the, uh, the ruffians. I have a report. Let's stay positive. I mean, I already had it in the rules that I don't appreciate, like, trolling or, uh, toxic chats. And I'm really glad you guys see me as, like, a level-headed guy. Honestly, like, maybe the older me, like, maybe 2009 me or 2010 me, would probably not be as level-headed. But likely over the years, I did have to grow up. I'm sure he read them. Like, read what? And who? Uh, you're not very... Oh, the rules. I have a report. Eh, not everyone reads the rules. I have a report. Like, I like to believe that maybe that person didn't, but if they did, that makes it even worse. Whoa. There for a reason. And it's not just for me, it's for everybody else like, here in the chat. Like, I want you guys to have, like, a good experience, too. Do I still get annoyed by grammar errors? Uh, probably not for people in chat, because sometimes, you know, English could be, like, a second language to them, or even a third. Like, anything that's wrote in a game, that I'll probably, like, make fun of, especially if it's spelled wrong. But if it's anybody in chat just says something that's a little grammatically incorrect or spelled wrong, I'll probably give him a little bit more. Yeah. Almost like you don't want to rock the boat. Yeah. I try my best not to rock the boat. I guess all that about Nor being strong was just talk, huh? Wow, that's cold. I won't be stopped. Okay, there's definitely still a lot of enemies on this map. So I think I'll have plenty of KOs for this. And I say probably after the draw, I might do a raid too. 
So anybody that wants to join in, stick around for that. to show some love to some other people. Right. Uh, I'll probably like uh, mix uh, mix it up a little bit. We'll see. Maybe we'll raid her. Maybe we'll raid somebody else. It's pretty much a mixed bag. So I keep things a little on their toes. Okay, this map should not be too long then. Like, we're probably already ready to take on the boss. We're only at 13.05 KO, so we're not done yet. Good night. <laughs> What sniper is almost ready for the assault? Let's hurry. I forgot there's a sniper I need to take out. <laughs> Shit, I better get over there now. If you are looking for a fight, are you ready? There's no other way. Let's go. I'm gonna erase you. Did I already beat the sniper? Yes, I did. Why couldn't I have, like, a sniper experiences this easy in Call of Duty, right? What the hell? Who's in trouble? Okay, it's only the Fort Captain. Lord Takumi is my opponent? It's a privilege, my liege. It's in danger. We must defend it. Okay, if it's just, like, not even the main base, I'm not worried. Oh, that's not enough. Close, though. Your voice ain't got stuff on me while sitting in front of the computer. If I go to bed, you're dead? Wow, don't go to bed. I'd like for you to still be alive. Who else will sit through them at Mario Hex now? Like, I picture, like, uh, if somehow you died and I finally Good start job. the stream for another Mario you Hack, you just pop up out of the casket. That would be interesting. <laughs> Like, even if you were, like, cremator or something, your ashes would just log into the Twitch chat. Like, so you just change your name to, like, Kiki's Ashes? I can't win this. <laughs> you would just be a ghost, ready to, like, uh, possess my controller. Just to make me... Use my mind. Well done, all of you. I can't win this. All right, I mean, is there enough soldiers now? Oh yeah, there is. Look, I bet if I go to the left side, I'll have enough soldiers. Everyone will probably notice, but I doubt anyone would care. 
If anything, I think they'd be pleased. Does that mean if I'll fall asleep to my own voice while I play? That'd be a weird thing to have happen. Like if I fall asleep to my own voice. I don't know if I'd ever want that. That would be a bit too weird to me. Alright, how much time do I have left? Ah, it's 845. Alright, I could probably win this now. Hi. Help me out, Hinoka. Let's do it, Garja! Why do I have a feeling there's going to be a Velazard battle here, too? It has an open field. So I'm a little concerned. Oh, yep. Yeah, there's, there's more. All right, Lissa. Get in position. I hear you. We know what's coming. Defeated. Take those forts while I can. Hold on. It's not over yet. Start the mission. Victory conditions have changed. <laughs> like sniping a target in Assassin's Creed on level 3 notoriety. Yeah, good luck with that. Speaking of Assassin's Creed, I'm sure there was like some missions that I would end up being sniped. Like in Assassin's Creed Rogue. Let's do it, Garja! Which is essentially almost the exact same gameplay as Black Flag. Like when you're trying to take the uh, enemy gang bases and stuff. This dragon's just gonna get old. How much time do I have? Okay, lots of time. Astonishing power. It may be interesting. Hey, get down! Thank you. Hopefully, this is gonna finish her off real quick. Nope. I don't think I should be in any danger of dying, though. How much damage do I take? Only 18. So we got this in the bag. There, now I have Awakening for Takumi. Get down, get down, move it all around. And you're dead. Good race. All right, now we got the Opus for Navarre. So he's gonna be buffed up. Good stuff. Good stuff. Nothing like hitting the sack at the end of a long day. Wait a second. Something isn't. Who's there? It's some kind of face up on the ceiling. Gotcha. What? Who are you? Come out and fight me to the death. Takumi, it's just me, Lissa. Lissa, it sure didn't look like you. Anyway, thanks for taking a few years off my life. Sheesh. 
I'm sorry. It was just a prank. I didn't think I'd scare you that much. It was just a social experiment. Kidding? Hiding in the shadows and putting that thing on the ceiling? It's a portrait of Crom, if you must know. Frederick drew it. That's supposed to be Crom? I was sure it was some sort of demon. Anyway, I'd appreciate it if you would never, ever do anything like that again. Well, okay. I'll be sure to never, ever do anything to upset you ever again. Gee, that sounds awfully familiar. Haven't we had this talk before? Oh, have we? Yes. Do you not remember stitching the word jerk on the back of my hair tie? I wore that hair tie in three different battles before I noticed. Oh, yeah. That was... Inappropriate, I guess. I'm sorry. I just enjoy getting a rise out of you. But I'll stop now. Really. Well, all right. I mean, you should. Sorry if I reacted a bit harshly. But what makes me so prankable? Honestly? It's because you seem like you're always on edge. I thought maybe teasing you a little bit would help you relax and have some fun. But you realize, of course, that these pranks have me even more on edge. I could relax and be friendly with you if I knew nothing terrible would happen. So just try coming up and talking to me next time, okay? I promise I'll be relaxed. All right, Takumi. It's a deal. It's kind of ironic, isn't it? I teased you because you were uptight, but the teasing just made it worse. I'm glad we had this talk. Hey, in a way, my pranks actually did work. <laughs> well, now that you've completely destroyed any hope of an early bedtime, how about sharing a cup of tea with me? I'd love to. Oh, uh, there was just one other thing. Uh, one second, all right? I've got to get a kettle of... Oh! Yeah, I was going to warn you about the trap that I dug right there. You have to believe me when I say that I set that up before our little talk. Sure, sure. D now help me out of here. We make a pretty good team. It seems the hex I cast on you is starting to take effect. Follow me. I'll protect you, so stay close. Thank you, Navar. I knew there was a caring person hiding under that flower. All right, so before I forget, I need to apply Check that opus out. now. Good thing I have enough materials Jeez. for it. But I don't have enough materials for, like, a uh, rank S weapons. But I don't need it anyway. All right, so I guess that's going to be it for tonight's show. So before we do the raid... We're